This is the new Pic Micro Habrock HQ35 L model. This is a multispectral thermal binocular unit, and I'm going to show you some of the features and the image quality through the device now. So, as we see at the minute, this is the 1440 resolution 2K day image. This is a night vision device, also. There is an IR illuminator built into it. This is the day channel image quality. So, we're going to zoom in. And that middle house on this image, the middle house, the tiles is 380 yards away. We'll back right out. You can activate the rangefinder on these models in daylight also, which is a great feature to have. I will spin it round and you can see that colour image there. That house is 70 yards and focus in for that. And that shows you some of the image quality. The low light ability of this binocular setup as well is really good and it retains good colour imaging even in look very low ambient light. So we're going to swap over to the white hot palette and as you can see there really nice image at 80 yards. Scan round, focus in for distance And that is the white hot palette. We'll now swap to the black hot palette, which is my favourite palette to be fair. And we'll zoom back in, focus back in on these houses here. I've got the brightness and contrast set quite high, um, but you can adjust that very easily by just entering the menu, as you can see. Go into your brightness, and we can just Adjust that down a bit, mainly the contrast as well. You can increase the contrast a bit if we need to. And just give it a bit more punchier image if required. Come out of that now. If you do want to access other menu functions, you can do that. You've got on the main quick menu, you've got your brightness control, you have your contrast control. You have your Zoom Pro, which I didn't enable. You've got your LED light power source, so that you've got high, medium, low, and smart IR, but you can have that fully off. That's for your night vision mode. And then you have your advanced settings. Select that, and then you've got a range of options in here. So basically, we'll start from the top, and we'll work through these. So, First of all, you've got your cold palette or your warm color palette. So that's a different hue to the overall image to give you a nicer, different feel to the image. I prefer the cold hue. Down, you've got sharpness. You can increase the sharpness considerably now on the device. Uh, we'll go through some of these settings and you can see, like, see that it's more cartoony for me. So I basically would just keep sharpness down Two and minimal. I just have it on two personally. Then you've got recognition or jungle mode. Uh, recognition, but I have been changing it recently. You've got your laser rangefinder modes, so you can have that for 15, 30, 60, two minutes, or even longer, just continually scanning. I just leave it on 15 because I just that's more than enough for what I need. I'm just focusing on them a little bit. Some guy walking his uh, dog. Uh, and we'll go down. This is your Wi Fi ability. This is your auto screen off, which is a good function because it allows you, when you tilt the device, it turns the eye displays off. Audio controller. You've got your hotspot tracking. You have your albums. You can go back and you can view back all your recorded footage or view your images. You can disable or enable custom palettes here. So if you don't want all the rest of them, Red Hot Fusion, you can just get rid of them. Uh, next we have function settings, so you've got your GPS, compass, on-screen display, brand logo, image calibrate, so you can have it auto, manual or external, means basically you just cover the lenses, lenses 
and then you just calibrate yourself manually. Go down, you have uh, digital pixel correction, so that's for if you have a damaged pixel, you can repair that, and you have burn prevention to prevent any damage to the sensor. So we'll go back into the other menu settings and we'll go down to general. So language, time, date, year, so yards and meters, and put auto power off and a restore function. So that is basically all the settings.